The NES saga of the King of Fighters series introduced a lot of new iconic characters. Some of them become instant fan favorites, others were pretty controversial to say the least. And then there are those who were unfairly forgotten. K49 and Nameless are a peculiar case in this beloved series. They have a lot of things in common, yet each one of them has enough unique traits that make him stand as an exceptional character on his own. As we know, they were not present in many games. Heck, Nameless was featured in only one game and a non-canonical one at that, and still has a pretty deep and interesting backstory. Knowing this, I decided to slightly modify the structure of this video. It's going to be more of a comparison video between K49 and Nameless and will compare them in terms of story, design, gameplay and personality. And at the end, I'll let you decide who's the best NES ultimate weapon. As always, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can be notified with every new video posted. The increasing number of traitors within NES ranks pushed the cartel to take some serious measures. They publicly organized k 2001 and challenged all their enemies to participate, but not before forming their own team of deadly agents. Led by Foxy, one of NES's most loyal and trustworthy executives, the team was composed of the anti-K weapon Kula, the enhanced agent Angel, and NES's latest biological weapon, K49. As his name suggests, he was the 9999th clone of Kyoko Sanagi. He was infused by a considerable amount of energy to achieve his mission, which was the elimination of all NES traitors, especially k -Dash. And to ensure his obedience, Ness suppressed his memories and hid from him the fact that he was just one of their creations. In spite of being his teammate, K49 did not like Foxy at all. She was just too authoritarian and bossy for him. And if there was something that K49 hated above all, it was taking orders. On the other hand, he liked Angel's company and enjoyed her playful and carefree personality. She was probably the only person on this planet whom he considered as a friend. It was during the competition when K49 learned his true nature and the origins of his creation. He and Angel decided to turn their backs to Ness and join the list of their traitors. They attacked Foxy from behind and almost killed her. Despite her strength, Kula was no match against both of them. Intimidated by their menace, she witnessed powerlessly as they ran away together. They completely vanished from the surface of Earth. And while it's true that Angel did make a comeback during the latest KOF, K49 was never seen again. Just like K49, Nameless is the 9999th clone of Kyoko Sanagi. Born in a base belonging to Ness, located in one of Mars's moons under the codename Z Prime. I guess that makes him a true Martian. During his entire life, Nameless knew nothing but suffering and misery. When he was not subjected to the countless and painful test experiments, the unlucky boy was submitted to cruel and unforgiving combat training with other unfortunate test subjects. These sessions often ended up sending him to the infirmary for days. During one of these visits, he met a young girl with a sorrowful look in her eyes. And despite the harsh circumstances, they fell in love with each other. Her name was Isolda, and like Nameless, she was one of Ness guinea pigs. She was part of the anti k program that led to the creation of Kula later. But before achieving that success, multiple experiments had to be applied on many girls, and Isolda was one of them. She was considered to be a defective subject, and Ness was not satisfied by her cryokinesis abilities. But when she met Nameless, her capabilities were significantly improved and Ness noticed it. They made sure that the two could meet more often so that Isolda's power could improve. And it went like that for a while and those were the happiest times for Nameless. Sadly, his short-lived happiness ended abruptly when Isolda stopped coming to the infirmary. He had no idea that his lover had died some time ago during one of the test experiments. Of course, Ness didn't see the need to inform him. They were more concerned in making sure that their work on Isolda won't go to waste. 
They extracted her DNA and infused a special glove with it, the same glove that was given to him later to maintain his flames under control. Isolde's DNA was perfect to nullify nameless fire. After all, she was an anti-K weapon. When he was ready, Ness sent him to Earth as an assassin. His mission was to eliminate all Ness traitors. One day, he learned from one of the cartel's former agents what happened to Isolde. But despite his frustration and anger towards Nests, Nameless decided to remain loyal to them in hopes that one day he'll be able to restore Isolde's essence to her original body. When it comes to character design, K49 has a catchier look with flashy colors symbolized by a yellow top and bluish hair. He looks like a rabid dog ready to bite at any moment. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, K49 is capable to change his appearance and clothes. He usually uses this power to mimic K-Dash and mock his wind poses. All in all, K49's design is one of the best in the series, if only it was 100% original. And that's the problem. Many characters of the series were inspired by famous anime figures, but in the case of K49, it's a plain ripoff. To put it mildly, he was heavily inspired by Taitsu Shima, the antagonist of the famous animated film Akira. It's important to note that KOF 2001, the game where K49 was first introduced, was not developed by SNK. At that time, the company was facing bankruptcy, and thus, the game was produced and developed by a South Korean company named Aeolith, in partnership with former SNK employees who formed a new company called BrizaSoft. When SNK decided to remake K-Wave 2002 after their comeback in the gaming industry, they brought all the characters who were present in that game and even added many more, except K-49. You can say they hated this character and acted as if he never existed. Moreover, it appears that they had to face some copyright issues because of him. So, to turn this page for good, they introduced their own version of the last clone of Kyo Kusanagi, and thus, Nameless was born. Dressed all in black, his design resembles chrysalids. He has black and white hair, indicating that he was created by mixing Kyo and K-Dash's DNA. Unlike K49, his demeanor is calm and thoughtful. He also looks badass with that cape of his, which he wears outside combat. Maybe just me, but he kind of reminds me of Asura from Samurai Showdown 64. Being a Kyo clone, K49 has the ability to create fire. However, unlike other clones, most notably K Dash, his pyrokinetic power is pretty limited. His deadliest faculty resides in his polymorphic arm. K49's arm can take any shape he wishes. Most of the time, he transforms his arm into a drill-like form, but it can also take the form of a shotgun. K49 has also some psychic powers and can use it to create a shield-like form that damages any close enemies. He doesn't have complete control over his arm, however, and that's why he wears a special glove that prevents his arm from going berserk. This can be seen in his secret desperation move when he intentionally takes off his glove and lets his arm morph in an uncontrollable mass made of flesh and tentacles. It looks impressive for sure, but sadly, it's also copied from Akira's Tetsuo. Most of Nameless's techniques are reskins of K49's. His control over the fire element is stronger, and most of his moves use this ability. In fact, Nameless has one of the deadliest fires in the series, symbolized by its blood color. The only drawback is that unlike Yo, Yori or Kedash, who can create flames out of thin air, Nameless has to remove his glove each time he wants to use his pyrokinetic abilities. He can morph his arm in a drill-like shape too, and although it can't go wide like K49's, Nameless can make morph his arm in a giant drill that deals just as much damage as his predecessor's fleshy arm. There is one technique that makes Nameless unique though, it's his secret desperation move. Nameless can create a huge pillar of flames that covers a large area, and for a short moment, the silhouette of his lover Isolde can be seen in this pillar. However, this attack consumes a considerable amount of energy and leaves him extremely tired and vulnerable to his opponent's counterattack, if they're still alive that is. 
hot headed and short tempered. K49 is a man that you don't want to mess with. He had a hard time controlling his anger and quickly jumps to violence as a solution to his problems. His voice actor did a great job conveying his irritable personality, who by the way was the same voice actor for, you guessed it, Tetsu Shima. K49 hates K Dash passionately and considers him his ultimate rival. And the fact that he was created to hunt down and eliminate the raw K Dash doesn't seem to be the only cause behind this antagonizing. The only thing K49 treasures dearly is his motorcycle, and to a lesser extent, his only friend Angel, whom he seems to get along pretty well. I wonder why. On the other hand, Nameless is the total opposite of K49 in terms of personality. He is more calm and cold, with a little bit of sadness in the way he speaks. That being said, he sometimes loses his cool temper when facing certain characters or during some of his attacks. Fun fact, he was voiced by Daisuke Ono, the same actor who did the voices for Jotaro Kujo in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Erwin Smith in Attack on Titans, and the announcer in K-Wave 2002 UM. Nameless is a tragic character that wishes nothing more than being with his beloved. He constantly thinks about her and even confounded her with Kula when he saw her. Both girls were part of the anti K project after all and share some physical resemblance. He knows that his only hope to revive Isolda is to stay under Ness orders and doing their bidding, making him one of the very few people who didn't end up betraying the syndicate. Did I mention that he has one of the best themes in the game? It perfectly fits his character and the deep sadness, anger and determination within him. While it's true that he was present in only one non-canonical game, Nameless himself is considered by many to be a canon character and I truly hope they're right so we could have him back in future games. Which one of these two awesome characters is your favorite? Do tell in the comment section. Special thanks to my patrons for their generous support. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and why not consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.